Welcome to the Mindset of a Trailblazer. Tell my story, and we are on um, part 13. And I'm going to be kind of talking a little bit about uh, what's happened since, you know, God started bringing people to um, learning the message of the kingdom of God. And, and you know, in 2017, um, I feel like the Lord started building his ark, kind of like in the days of Noah. He started building an ark of people that wanted to learn it. So, um, I did a three-hour video called The Ark is Ready. And it was interesting because I had never done a message that long. It was pretty unbelievable, to tell you the truth. Uh, three and a half hours almost. Um, and it was really cool because uh, one of the ladies that was in our ministry named Dora, she brought us this big poster. And it had the whole 6,000-year history um, since Adam all the way till now. And it was pretty awesome. We have it on our wall at our home. And when I looked at that, I said, man, God put it on my heart to do this message. And it was really just talking about how what happened in Noah's day. And when I looked at that map, it really shows everything from, you know, all the way from Adam up until Noah's day was about a thousand years. And then it showed from Noah all the way to the Israelites, which was another thousand years. Then it showed how from the Israelites all the way to Jesus was 2,000 years. And then from Jesus till now, it's about 2,000 years. That's 6,000 years. And this map shows everything, it shows the whole history of all the kids and the lineage and everything. It's pretty amazing. And so it also showed things like, or God started revealing things like um, the Nephilim and how in Noah's day, the reason why the earth was flooded and everything because these Nephilim, the angels, came down and they had um, children with the, the women there and they had these babies that were giants and they were called Nephilim. And God showed that. It started revealing that stuff to us. And we were blown away. It just, like the stuff that we saw, it said the sons of God married the daughters of women and had children. Around. And we were like, what the heck is a Nephilim? So we started looking it up and God started revealing what a Nephilim was and how these were giants. And those are the same people that, you know, kind of made the, the Israelites afraid to go into the promised land. And we, he started teaching us about other things like um, who the Israelites really were. Um, because, you know, we started um, understanding why the Israelites were punished. And if you read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68, it talks about the, the punishment that the Israelites are going to go through if they're disobedience to the commandments. And God started revealing that to us. And he started revealing to us also in Deuteronomy 28, where um, the, the Israelites were brought on slave ships back to Egypt. And we realized that Egypt was slavery, which is what happened in Americas. And so that the slave ships came down to Americas and it enslaved the people. And so we saw that too. And that was really encouraging. And then the God also started revealing to us um, uh, that, you know, the giants scared off the Israelites before they went into the promised land. That's not the reason why they never went in. And he also started revealing to us things like how the earth actually looks and how it's not like a globe spinning in the middle of space. He showed us how the, the earth is uh, more of a, a flat kind of um, environment and how there's a firmament above it and, and he showed us how the water separated the water like it talks about in scripture and he also talked about how we never even went to the moon which was amazing if you look on youtube you can see all these videos about how nasa is really like a movie studio never they never went to the moon that was a, a lie a big lie to kind of explain away god and god started revealing all this stuff to us and it was unbelievable the stuff he started showing to us and he started showing to us things like um, how the, the moon is a light. Like it says in Genesis um, 2, um, so Genesis 1, it actually says it's a light, 114. And, you know, God made two great lights, the lesser light to govern the night and the greater light to govern the day, which is the sun and moon. And then he started teaching us all kinds of things like, um, all, you know, just, just pretty much unbelievable stuff. I don't, you don't want to go into all the details, but he showed us how even the mountains and how the trees were giant. And, uh, you know, that they were cut down. So, like some of the mountains that we think are mountains, they were actually trees. And he started showing us that. And, you know, it was just amazing just to start to see how big God really, really was. And so it started to increase my faith. It started to increase my faith that I can do this. And, and so I started teaching this message. And, you know, the body of the believers started to come. And more people started um, believing the message. And it was cool because my daughter, Jaden, she um, started walking dog, my dog, our dog that we had just got her in the neighborhood. And one of our neighbors came over, Lila and Philip. And Lila was baptized in our pool. And then Philip was a great man of God. I mean, he already had been baptized and he loved the Lord. And so he started fellowship with us and everything. And it was so encouraging because the body of Christ started to grow a little bit.
And then we met a lady named Deborah. You know, she um, started worshiping with us and everything as well. And we met Deborah online. And she started, um, her and her son, Marcus, they started fellowshipping with us also. And that was really encouraging. And so the Lord started, you know, providing this message. And we started to get a little group here. And then it started to um, go around the world. Uh, because what happened is he started having me um, start teach this message. And people around the world started to find our messages on Facebook and on on YouTube around the world and it was so encouraging because you know up to that point it was just a few of us and we were learning all this knowledge and I started teaching it and people started to see it and people started to want to learn more and that was really encouraging but it still hadn't spread yet really you know I was sending out emails to pastors in the United States almost every single month I was sending them out. I had this database of like 10 to 20,000 pastors and I'd send them an email and People would send back saying, don't call me or don't email me anymore. And I sent out text messages and people didn't want to talk about it. Nobody in the United States wanted to hear this message. And so that made it really sad. But, you know, our little ministry had grown to like maybe 10 people or so. And it was pretty cool because it gave me someone to talk to, you know, when I was um, teaching the messages. But, you know, God had a plan. God had a much bigger plan than that. And so, you know, in the next video, I'll share with you the bigger plan of what God started to do from this point. Because I'm going to tell you right now, God had a major plan with, you know, what we're doing. And so, you know, I'll share with you on the next video. So, you know, thank you again for watching and, and just, you know, tuning in with us. You know, just ring the bell down there and, you know, subscribe. Because, you know, every single time I, I get another message, you'll, you'll get access to that message and plus our Sabbath messages as well. So, again, thank you so much for listening to this. And I'll, I'll be with you again in the next video.